In this video, I am going to provide you with a method for building a curved, rounded, shaped wall. And I have never built anything like this. This was kind of a challenge that someone sent me and I thought I would give it a shot. So let's take a look at it. We're going to start with a 10 foot radius. Uh, the wall is going to be three and a half inches wide, two by four or I should say three and a half inches wide with our shape. And then we're going to cut a curved plate. And that can be out of plywood, OSB. And uh, here I have a two by eight and a two by 12, I believe. We have our two framing plates. And I'm not gonna go into every single detail on this. I do have other videos. If you run into some problems, feel free to leave a question in the comment area and I will answer it as soon as possible. I do have a lot of videos on how to make circular shapes, curved shapes, and um, just kind of wanted to give you an idea here. We took a two by eight, put a curve, uh, curve shape to it, and then simply cut the shape out of the two by eight. You need something a little um, more curved, a little curved more. Um, you can use a 2x12. Something like this should work just fine. Then we will be able to cut all of our pieces that we need and assemble our wall. So let's go ahead and put it together. There it is. So this is kind of what I meant by a circular curved shape, maybe a double um, curve. How's that? Maybe that's, that's confusing enough. So, you know, I don't know what you would... Uh, when you would build something like this. Um, but uh, I do need to point out too, is that here I have it um, cut. So if you were gonna shape it and you wanted this curve to go all the way down, then stick around here. I'll, uh, you know, all we need to do is shape the top plates. But if you were gonna put some type of, of molding, floor trim or crown molding, you might wanna have something like this and then have the um, plaster. Uh, you know, I would like to say drywall, but I don't know how you would, you would drywall something like this. The only thing I could think of would be plastering it. And so the plaster could stop here or it could die into here, however you wanted to create it um, or to create a shape to where the floor trim or the trim above would fit perfectly. And I think in my model here, I space these eight inches on center and uh, you might need to space them closer. And I did think of one more thing, and that would be like, you know, if you didn't, if you were looking for some type of a wood design, uh, some type of a design, you could actually nail these right next to each other and go all the way around the perimeter and then get like a, a belt sander or some type of a sand and just start sanding the um, boards until you got a shape that you wanted. And, what, and the reason why I'm saying that is because and it sounds like a lot of work, but uh, when it comes to plastering this thing, that's also going to be a lot of work. So um, don't be confused. If you were to uh, pay for a wall like this to have it done, it actually might be cheaper to nail these boards right next to each other, go all the way around the wall, and um, and get a belt sander out and sand it. And give yourself a different. Uh, wood finish wall if that's something that you would want. So just a thought I'm throwing out there. Now let's take a look at shaping the framing plates and here you can see and I don't know how difficult this would be if you were going to cut it with uh, you know if you're going to cut a piece of inch and an eighth plywood or um, something like that that might be difficult you might need to um, go with smaller pieces you know for example maybe uh, one piece of half inch at the top or two pieces but they would be shaped accordingly you know and I would almost think that you could shape it a little smaller and cut it square you wouldn't have to um, shape it and uh, I guess that would be another another uh, video there so if that's something you know if you're cutting a plate like this you're having a difficult time uh, maybe I can do another video on that using multiple plates instead of uh, one thick plate for something like this Next up, let's take a look and see how we can stabilize this thing, keep it from falling down. And of course, you could do that with a piece of shaped angle iron. Um, you can use square tubing, um, round poles, whatever you want to use. 
and uh, it's going to have to go into the concrete slab and I kind of left a hole here. It's going to be easier for you to um, kind of figure out where the round wall is going to go and then kind of reverse form something here so that you can prevent the concrete from filling this hole up and then when you finish building your wall and you could attach this to it um, and uh, or the um, structural reinforcement to the framing and then simply fill this up with concrete to stabilize the wall this seems like it would be a lot easier to do something like this to use a method like this than to try and pour the concrete slab with these um, poles in the exact spot that they need to be. So, and again, you could be off a little bit and still get it to work, but if this was sticking out a little bit to this side or sticking a little bit in here to, to the inside, then of course you can see where the problem could easily become a, uh, a bigger problem. And again, you know, there are other ways you could just have a pole coming out here you could have a brace coming out here and then you could um, weld a piece to it afterwards also so you could pour a bracket in here and just something that you could weld to and uh, that might work also so again just throwing out some ideas here and if this is going to be braced up against something so if this is going to be framed up against a wall then you could always brace the ends um, to um, another section of the wall framing and then maybe you could get away with just one brace in the center depending upon how long the wall would be. Now let's take a look at what it might look like after it has been plastered and I would like to say drywalled but I don't think you'd be able to drywall something like this if someone does have a method for drywalling it. I would love to see it but plastering seems like it'd be a lot easier and um, if this is something you're planning on building and you can't find any information on how to plaster it, I'll be glad to provide you with some insight into that. Now, when I said I've never built this type of wall before, and I, that, mean, that also means I've never plastered this type of wall before. So the information I'd be giving you would be information that I have in some of my older plastering books. So keep in mind, and I think it's for those of you do-it-yourselfers out there, who um, you do something and you, it gives you the power to do something else. You know, hey, I built this wall, I drywalled it, turned out nice, or it turned out to where it's nice enough for you. Um, then, um, you know, you can, hey, I want to try something new, or I like this idea. It gives you the confidence to try something. I mean, to me, I would not be afraid to build something like this and plaster it. And I know that it would turn out good, you know, because I've done stuff similar um, to it in the past. And I think that's what actually um, helps me um, teach what uh, I'm doing here, you know, kind of uh, explain how this can be done because I still remember when I couldn't do some of this stuff. So those memories are starting to fade, though. I have to say the old uh, getting older is, uh, is rough. So anyway, that is it for the video. And hope you liked it. If you do, hit the old thumbs up button. And uh, let us know. Leave a comment if you like it. And don't forget to tell others about our channel. You know, the only way that we're going to be growing in the future. And I have a feeling we're heading into some tough economic times here. Um, and this, uh, what do we got, a coronavirus coming out. I like to call it the corny virus because everybody's acting corny. So um, we'll see what the corny virus brings out. And uh, who knows, maybe one of these days I won't be making videos and uh, co the corny virus would have got the best of me and I should have just kept my mouth shut. So anyway, that's it for the video. Hope you liked it.